One day in the village of Durness in Sutherland, the local minister's wife died. She was young, and many in the area came to pay their respects and console their minister. The open coffin lay in a room at the manse, and people filed past in quiet contemplation. On one of her fingers, it was noticed she was wearing two valuable rings, and in the hours following, a conversation was overheard by two men, and they formulated a plan. They would go to the graveyard in the dead of night and take the rings from the dead woman. On the day the woman was buried, the men gathered together the tools they needed to dig the grave and open the coffin. That night, they went to the cemetery and began their work. They carefully removed the flowers from the top of the grave and shoveled the earth into a pile beside it, then prized open the coffin lid, which they thought would make a nice table. There, still on her finger, were the expensive rings. However, they were stuck fast, and try as he might, the thief in the hole couldn't pull them off. He even tried using a file, but it was to no avail. His partner in crime was becoming impatient, as he feared someone would come and see what they were up to. He tried to hurry the man along, but he told him he couldn't get them off her finger. Fed up with how long it was all taking, the man jumped into the grave, produced a knife and severed the dead woman's finger. The rings then slipped into his hands and he placed them in his pocket. The two, now happy with their haul, clambered out of the grave, moaning and groaning as they did so. Except it wasn't their moans and groans they could hear. They looked down into the coffin only to see the woman struggling to sit up in it. Blood drained from the faces of the two men as they looked at each other in astonishment. They dropped everything and ran. The poor woman had been buried alive. She managed to climb out of the grave and made her way unsteadily home. By the time she arrived at the house, she was dirty from the earth and dirt and blood from her severed finger covered her shroud. She was also completely exhausted. The astonished minister couldn't believe it. His wife was alive. He hugged her, comforted her, and put her to bed. Then the local doctor was called, and he attended to her finger. The minister's wife went on to live a long life, and it's believed the couple went on to have five children. Whatever happened to the two thieves, or the rings, is unknown. If you enjoyed this episode of Scotland's History, please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching.